All right, what's up, guys? Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make a brass pad or a lead horn synth in Native Instruments Massive. Um, I have not found anything good on YouTube for this kind of thing, and I happened to just stumble upon one um, creating this new song of mine. So here's what mine sounds like. And it's a pretty easy patch to make. Um, it'll also be available for download. And if you don't have the same version of Massive 1.1.5, you're going to need to copy the settings manually like this. So all you need is one oscillator, uh, which is going to be a sawtooth, wavetable intensity amp all the way up, pitch it down negative 24, and drag envelope 1 to the pitch there, pitch that down negative 12. Okay. Um, on that, make sure that you copy um, the settings here in the envelope. So delay all the way down, attack, level all the way down, decay at about 10 o'clock, level all the way up, and um, copy these ones here. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to send oscillator 1 to filter 1 and select a comb filter for that. And that's really how you're going to get that, uh, that horn sound. And then, so there you're going to use uh, pitch all the way to the left, damping in the middle, and feedback all the way up. Move this knob down a little bit there. And send it to parametric there. Alright, and then... What else did I do here? Envelope 4, I just moved the level all the way up like that. Um, in the effects slot, I used a tele tube with dry wet and drive all the way up. And that really gives it a lot of that, that kind of blasting horn brass sound. Um, give it some reverb too. And I EQ'd it specifically for my song with the high shelf up and the low shelf down. Um, but you're going to need to play around with that to get it to sound how you want it to, to fit in your mix perfect. And that's it for Massive. Um, so that's the basic sound. Here's what I've used it for, like in my song. So yeah, you get it. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps you guys to get that horn sound that you're looking for. Um, it works great in hip-hop tracks or trap music or whatever. Um, it's also just a good orchestra instrument to use also. So thanks, guys.